Whistlin' Diesel is one of the biggest automotive content creators out there, and for those of you that don't know him, which I'm sure is only a select few, these are some of his biggest videos. He made the Horse and Buggy Hellcat video, the Four Wheeler with Reaper Wheels video, and also the Monster Max video where the police weren't super happy with him. Life of Paulus' video tipped me off that something is going on with Whistlin' Diesel, so I tried to do some further digging and also give some updates on him. In this video, I'm going to cover the good, the bad, and why I think social media platforms are giving Whistlin' Whistling Diesel so many headaches. Now first of all, Whistling Diesel makes amazing content, but something strange has been happening with him. So let's start with the good. If we head over to his Instagram page, we see his 1.2 million follower Instagram page has been restored. He posted this and said the following. He says his original Instagram page was deleted for a period of time because of some BS filter when he was joking around with a fan. It also says to follow him on his backup page, Whistling Diesel 69. Now this is the photo that caused IG to temporarily ban him. Whistling Diesel is talking to a fan about running over some band equipment, and the fan is saying that doing that sort of content wouldn't live up to Whistling Diesel's brand. Now, I don't feel like joking about running over band equipment is a means to get your Instagram page temporarily banned. He wasn't putting anyone down and he wasn't doing anything illegal. He was literally just joking about creating content, and for his page, running over band equipment is nothing. The man literally put horse and buggy wheels on a Hellcat, like come on now. Now if we hop over to his YouTube channel, we see that he hasn't uploaded in a few weeks, which is strange, but he just posted to Instagram and it explains why. If we click on his most recent IG post, it talks about how his video got demonetized. The video is titled, Teaching a 10 year old to fly a plane. Diesel says, thanks YouTube for demonetizing my video. I'm going to attempt to upload it one more time and then it's gone forever. Now I thought something was happening with his YouTube channel as he hasn't uploaded in such a long time. I thought he got completely demonetized or he had some sort of ban on uploads. But seeing that IG post, it all makes sense now. He hasn't stopped making great content and he's just running into some mild inconveniences. Now, teaching a 10 year old to fly is a wild title. I'm sure that video would have done amazing. So I'm curious as to why YouTube would have chosen to demonetize that video. Maybe YouTube has an issue with planes. They don't want to encourage children to hop into planes, but for anybody that's flown, it's not like driving a car. You can't just hop in, key, drive, and you're good to go. It's a lot more complicated. What kid will be able to hop into a plane and just be able to take off? Now that we've covered the mostly good, let's talk about the bad. If you hop over to his TikTok, you can see that he only has 17,000 followers. That's because his original page with over 17 million followers was deleted. Now being banned from TikTok is huge. People are using it to build their brands and advertise themselves. Wilson Diesel had over 17 million followers. That is a huge account to get banned. Now this is my assessment assessment on what is going on. Now, Whistling Diesel makes great content that is safe for most viewers. I can think of a bunch of YouTubers that are doing way riskier videos on way more inappropriate topics, yet they have run into little to no issue. Now, I think the algorithm is picking up on certain keywords as hateful or too dangerous and systematically demonetizing him and removing him. For example, the keywords teaching, child, and fly would be assessed as a dangerous act by YouTube's text recognition software. Software. If he called that video flying with a 10 year old pilot, he may not have that same demonetizing issue. As far as TikTok, I'm not sure what his last video was before TikTok deleted him, but if TikTok's recognition software picked up that that video was overly dangerous, they may have removed him for that. But with TikTok, it's strange they didn't give him more details or more information as to what happened. I'm happy to see that Whistling Diesel doesn't care too much. He's just moving forward and continually creating great content. That's going to be it for this one. Smash that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.